Well, 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 well. Welcome back, everybody. So, I'm not sure what I can say or can't say about this product just yet. I actually messaged the manufacturer or the bottler of this, and he hasn't answered me back. So, I just want to say I will update you guys in the comments of this video or on my Instagram. To detail it on Instagram once he tells me what I can release on this. Keep your eyes and ears peeled. Um, I will say this is going to be a foam and rinse protection. Um, the ones that I have used in the past will give you between 30 days and 120 days of protection. Just foaming, rinsing, drying. Um, all the technical data on this, I'm not sure if I can release it. Plus, he hasn't shared a ton with me. So hopefully we can get together later because um, this is due to hit the shelves really soon. I, I don't even have a time frame on that. Um, kind of blind on my review on this one today, but uh, thank you for that. I've got a little leak in my pressure washer. It scared me. Um, anyway, let's get to it. I'll show you how to uh, apply this. Oh, and by the way, I mixed it uh, 10 to 1 in my foam cannon. If you want to stretch this product, I would probably put 2 ounces in a foam cannon. Um, your durability will probably suffer a little bit, but... I mean, as it gets hotter, some of these foam and rinse products um, have a tendency to water spot. And I'm not calling him out or saying that his will, um, but one of the three majors that I have tried is a, is a big manufacturer and it water spotted. So you gotta be very quick when you do these products, foam them on, rinse them off, dry right away. Um, great slickness, great gloss from the others that I've tried. Let's see what this one will do. I had to hydrate a second there. Apologies, apologies. So let's look at the water behavior on this truck. If you can see it right now, just, I mean, the beating or lack thereof on the glass and everything. It's been sprinkling today, so I, I figure it's the perfect time to actually wash with this. It's overcast. Can't see hardly any beads there, can you? It's got some, but it's not, I mean, there are some beads. You see some down there. Anyway, let's go ahead and foam and rinse. I'll show you how easy these products are. These are kind of game changers for mobile guys, I think. So you just foam it on, rinse it off dry, move on. You could probably do a car, truck, or SUV in like 15 minutes. So here we go. Hello. So this one's not a big foamer. All right, so I may have to reshoot this video because that's not great foam and I don't know if this is supposed to be a foam or not. The others that I've used foam a little more than that. Um, so maybe 10 to one isn't the recommended dose. But this is kind of in, in, in the progress of being formulated and perfected, right? So some of these things can be tweaked. Let's rinse. Let's
All right, so quite honestly, even I, I don't like a lot of heavy foam, um, but I was shocked that that didn't foam more. But it did lay down some protection. You can tell by the beating and the water behavior right now. It has changed it up a little bit. So this could be used in a, a wash and wax package, guys. It's gonna make it a lot quicker. And even if this only lasts 30 days, I mean, that's all you're gonna get out of conventional Carnuba anyway, right? And this is a heck of a lot quicker than even a spray and rinse formula. Foam it on, rinse it off. I wonder if you guys are picking up all that. There you go. All right, so let me start my leaf blower real quick. And let's see what the water does with the blower. Let's just leave you right here real quick, all right? Stand by, stand by. <laughs> it helps when you turn the kill switch back to the on position or run position. All right, let's see. So that I love. The water's flying off this truck and this truck has virtually nothing on it except that foam and rinse. All right guys, so I like being honest and transparent. I don't know if you guys think I have credibility or not, but I don't want to lose whatever little bit of credibility I appear to have over this. Originally, when I started foaming that, I didn't like it. Um, I was like, man, even a guy that doesn't like foam, that's not enough foam. There was no show on that product. There's plenty of go. And what I'm saying is the truck was beating like crazy and the water's flying off the panel when I blow dry it. So, all in all, I think this is gonna be a very good product. It's gonna be reasonably priced. If um, the manufacturer that I spoke to the other day keeps his price where he said he's gonna keep it, and I hope he does, because if it's good, it works, and it's affordable, he's not gonna be able to keep it on his shelves, right? So, if you guys wanna keep up to date on what this product is or where you can pick it up locally, uh, follow me on Instagram. To detail it on Instagram, detail it on YouTube, and I'll try to update you guys as much as I can when I talk to the manufacturer. Hopefully, he and I can get together and discuss more technical details and I can put another video out with some updates or stuff. Um, but overall, I am very satisfied with this, especially uh, being that the price point should be reasonable and it's super fast effective and if you're just going to do a wash and wax foam it on rinse it off dry it whether you blow dry it or towel dry it you're on to the next client probably save you 20 percent time maybe more than 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent as opposed to like a buff on buff off or a spray and wipe so anyway just uh, food for thought, guys. Keep that one in mind. Foam and rinse protection. Very easy to do. Very effective. And I will keep you updated. Take care.